hi uh, in this video today we'll see uh, what happens if you try to use an unverified third party hard drive in Synology DS925 plus as you know Synology has introduced a very strict uh, drive compatibility check in uh, 925 plus which doesn't let you use uh, any third party hard drive other than the Synology hard drives this is nothing new because Synology has been doing it for the higher and enterprise models already but this is the first time they have done it in the plus series so let's see what happens uh, I go to my storage manager and if I try to create a uh, new storage pool it uh, says that it couldn't find any drive though there is a drive so if you see view drive requirement you can see that it was able to indeed uh, uh, recognize the drive uh, it could detect the drive uh, but uh, since the drive is not in the compatibility list it wouldn't let me do anything with the drive the drive i'm using here is an st8000 any drive which is an iron wolf uh, pro drive which would have worked perfectly well with the uh, uh, 923 plus but it wouldn't in 925 plus now uh, I'll show you how we can uh, disable this compatibility check uh, just a quick note before we do that uh, you need to understand that if you do that uh, it will involve some system settings modifications and using third-party hard drives may affect your warranty or uh, you know support options so you need to make an informed decision uh, you know whether you need to do this or not but I'll show you um, nonetheless uh, how to do this the easiest way to bypass this is by changing a system flag uh, there is also a script on uh, github which i have written uh, earlier about and a lot of people have uh, um, done the tutorial on that it's uh, it goes by the name 007 revad script which is essentially a shell script you need to download the shell script and then you will have to uh, um, run the shell script on your terminal so we'll need terminal access to do that let's make sure that our terminal access is um, enabled uh, type ssh in your uh, uh, search box go to terminal and snmp Look at the terminal and make sure that SSH service is enabled. Mine is, and I will use Putty. So using Putty now, I have um, already logged into this uh, Synology drive. All right. Let's see now. Um, I need to go into the directory uh, in the root etc dot defaults. Within this directory, I'm trying to edit a file called sinoinfo.conf. So I'll sudo because I'll need uh, elevated uh, privileges to uh, modify a system file. Uh, I'll use the editor vim, which is available by default. sinoinfo.conf. It uh, tells me that I can open it as a read only or I can edit it. I will go to edit uh, anyway. This is uh, alphabetical. So I just have to go down to support disk compatibility support disk compatibility see this is the uh, flag that we need to change it says support disk compatibility is equal to yes if we make it no it will stop checking for the disk compatibility right so i press i for insert i type no here escape w for right q for quit and we are back here now i just need to restart my uh, system and once i come back it will let me uh, use that drive so let me shut it down and we'll come back in a while all right so the nash has reboot <coughs> rebooted now let's log in and see uh, what happens this time now when i go to the storage manager it's not going to check and hopefully it should be able to give me the yes it's letting me do the shr and I can yes your drive one is available now and I'll be able to create a volume on this now as you can see all right with the warning yes so now this time it was able to um, detect the hard drive and it didn't do the compatibility check so it was able to uh, use the hard drive which is not there in the compatibility list it's creating which will take a while because uh, it needs to create the bitmap and everything so uh, that's it uh, this is how you can disable the compatibility check on dh925 plus which is not any difficult uh, which is not any different from any other uh, synology either uh, if you have any questions then please feel free to ask in um, in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you